Hey, I'm, I'm alright. A little bit tired and I gotta get up early tomorrow morning, so I just uh, jumped on for this one break. Thanks, man. <clears throat> alright, here we go. Thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. We're doing one case of Donra Soccer, case break number 82. This is the last break in the Jersey Palooza number nine promo. Whoever gets card closest to 75 without going over will win the spot in Jersey Palooza 9. I am Soccer Breakers FC. If you're interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Simply search Soccer Breakers FC. Make sure to check out our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. Also, guys, if watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah, and as always, if you give us a little thumbs up on the videos, it's always greatly appreciated. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Hold on. I forgot to announce the teams. Here we go with the teams. Uh, optic base lock goes to Adam. Andreas, you got Germany, uh, Belgium. And Andreas Achsteider, you got Germany. Andreas Spiekermann, you have Belgium and France. Andrew King, Spain. Anthony De Nicola, USA Ladies. Arthur Gulevich, uh, Denmark. Uh, Dan Chipman, Sporting and USA Men. Gabe Arias, Colombia. Harry Hoffman, Monaco, Valencia. Ian Hatcher, England, Jeff, uh, Real Madrid, Kareem, Inter, Italy, Croatia, Kelly, uh, Man City and Dortmund, Kevin, Napoli, Porto is, uh, that's Manny, uh, Manny's Hobbies, Mon is Juve, Mariela, Mexico, Mario, Atletico, uh, Rene is uh, Brazil, Scott Kim, I don't know, for some reason the E with the little accent shows up like that, but that's Rene Renert. Uh, Rene. Scott Kim, Bayern and PSG. Simon or Simon, Barcelona. Sidichok, uh, Argentina. Teddy, Australia. Tom, Portugal. And Zach, Netherlands. There you go. Now we got it. All right. Uh, yeah, for tonight, guys, sorry, but this is all I can do tonight. I'm going to also do the jersey uh, random for the jerseys. So want to get that Jersey Palooza 9 finished. This is the last spot. couple more in this trash bag and then we'll switch over. Alright.
Sleeves we don't need regular card sleeves that we do need. Closest to seventy five without going over twenty one of ninety nine, Sergio Ramos. There we go, that's better. Hey Wheels, what's up buddy? Yeah, closest to 75. Did I say something else? Yeah, Don Rosari, closest to 75 without going over. This is uh, 21 of 99, but closest to 75. Hey doing Wheels. Whoa! Check that baby out. 7 of 10. That is a monster. Matisse Delete Gold. I'm not going to mag that just because uh, I might want to get that graded. And all the graders have told me not to mag these rookie cards. So we won't mag it, but that's a monster right there. Netherlands. Zach Houston. There you go, Zach. If you do want to mag for it, I'll let me know. I'll be happy to mag it, but most people have told me not to mag these. So I will listen to you graders out there. Oh, wow, that's good. That is good. So do that, does that come sooner, wheels, versus the, because the stimulus stuff they say is going to be like through three weeks, maybe. Yeah, I probably just said 21 of 99 because that card was to 99. 20 of 100, Alcantara. This is the last uh, break for Jersey Palooza 9, guys. I got Jersey Palooza 10 all set up. Uh, going to post that uh, tomorrow with all the new uh, jerseys. It's going to be our biggest one yet. Number to five, Napoli, Lorenzo Insigne. It's going to be 30 spots, Jersey Palooza 10. And uh, it's going to be our sickest one. Oh, nice. 600 a week, yeah. It's not bad, I guess, considering everything. Uh, 41 of 50, Rakitic. Mm. 
Marco Verratti. Yeah, I know, man. Stay safe. Uh, Marco Verratti, Italy. It's just, I stopped watching the news. It just depresses me too much. Every time I watch it, it freaks me out. So I just figured out what the heck. Yeah, that does. If you could work, I mean, somewhere, a lot of jobs, I mean, I'm lucky my job is just me, but Casper Dolberg, you know, a lot of people, if you could do your work from home or if you could, you know, just go to the office and there not be a whole bunch of people around. Uh, Pulisic. Yeah, it's just depressing. I mean, it's just the number of people dying is just nuts. Yeah, there's nothing. I get it. You go there, there'd be nothing to do. Seventy-two, nice one there. Seventy-two, you never know. That could be your winner. Seventy-two of one hundred, Mendy, Man City. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean, that's unfortunately right now the only thing you can do is just you know not hang out with a bunch of people and stay away because. Honestly, I think it's the only way to say, I mean, until they figure out something, how to fix this. Because, yeah, honestly, if everybody was still going out and everybody was conducting life as normal, I, I mean, I think you'd have hundreds of thousands of more people dying. 40 of 149. Because even with everything we're doing, it's still crazy. I mean, with all the stuff, everybody's staying at home. Although I guess what we're seeing now is what happened a few weeks ago. But still, the numbers are just mind-boggling. One thing I can't figure out is how is it that China, like, it started there and they seem to be fine. I mean, relatively speaking, they're doing pretty darn good. 35 of 100 Lewandowski and uh, yeah the rest of us not so good yeah thank goodness for breaks this is the only thing keeping me sane man I'll tell you that but I'm lucky I got a wife and two kids at home but still we're starting to drive each other nuts <laughs> every way It's not so bad for me, the, a little bit more uh, difficult to get 20 year olds to sit at home. Whoa, nice one there. Gold PSG 
preferred two of ten Angel Di Maria. Yeah, my connection with the outside world now is just walking my dogs. At least I uh, get some fresh air. Mertens. Ooh, so close. 76 of 149. My dogs are happy. I hadn't walked them this much in a while. Sixty-one to seventy-five. I heard today Panini is pretty much pushing everything out because uh, I guess their factories are also starting to. Because uh, Texas ordered everybody to stay at home, non-essential businesses, and uh, I assume sporting cards are a non-essential business. So nothing Panini-wise is probably going to be coming out for the next. Uh, well, for soccer, we really didn't have that much, but especially for the other sports. Toby Alderweld, uh, 2 of 99. So all dates right now are kind of put off till who knows when. Florian Thauvin, it's a 75. I'm going to try and buy up what I can stock-wise. I've got enough stock for about two months, so we should be breaking for at least the next two months. Hopefully by then they'll figure something out. The 75 Thalvin. Hey, Alex. I'm on. Eric Dyer to 75. Mbappe. <laughs> Big sign, curbside, exactly. To 99, two of 99. No, I mean, I've been to the, um, I've been to the uh, Panini uh, factory in, I guess it's Irving, what is it? It's outside of Dallas. Um, Got a tour when I went over there and everything. It's really nice, but it's got like, I mean, you've got a good hundred people working in there, you know, like in the factory where they make the cards and box them. And you've got like production lines where there's like people putting the little things in the cards and putting the stickers on and all that stuff. And it's like a lot of people in there. So it's a pretty big operation. Yeah, it's not something that you could really run in this situation, I don't think. 
but there's still plenty. I mean, there's still plenty of product out there, I guess. Uh, 89 of 100 Pellegrini. We'll have to bring back like uh, <laughs> have to start breaking all that like aficionado stuff like that. That's... Bring back aficionado. Angel Di Maria. No, I don't live in Texas. Uh, Panini is uh, is. Panini is headquartered in Texas, and 80% of what I break uh, soccer cards come from Panini. So, and uh, I mean, honestly, I'm surprised they hadn't done it lately, but I guess it, well, Texas had not told everybody to stay at home until I think yesterday or something. So I think they finally came around. Uh, I mean, I think it's going to be national pretty soon, but so only uh, what's called essential businesses can go to work and uh, sports cards are not considered essential, even though I think they should be, but that's just my opinion. Sports cards are essential. <laughs> oh, so anyway... So then why, uh, yeah, I heard, I guess I got the announcement from Panini yesterday. I don't know, did something happen yesterday in Texas? Because they said that they can no longer operate the factories from what I gathered. Maybe they told them they had to shut down or something. But anyway, whatever happened in the last few days, they are no longer producing the cards, I guess. Yeah, we've we've had our stay at home. I think it's almost one on two and a half weeks now. I think California was the first to tell us to. But you know, stay at home is pretty lax here. I mean, when you go out, there's still tons of people out. It's not like the stay at home orders in uh, some places in Europe. They're like really strict about it. If you're out on the street, you better explain your reason type of thing. But I'll tell you the one place that's nuts is the post office. I mean, I know the post office is essential. But I've never seen the post office this crowded except for Christmas time. It's like when you go to the post office, it's a zoo. Probably should get on the phone tomorrow and try to buy as much uh, product as I can, I guess. But everything's so darn expensive right now. Donruss is crazy expensive. been on a Star Wars binge. And instead of watching the news, just been watching a lot of Star Wars movies.
Any good uh, Netflix uh, series you guys can recommend? Because I got to start watching some new Netflix uh, series. Keep me busy during the day. Uh, 27 of 100. I've been watching that Hunter's show. It's not on Netflix. It's on uh, Amazon Prime, I think. It's pretty good. It's got uh, Al Pacino's in it. It's about like... Uh, bunch of group of people chasing the like Nazi war criminals the English game mm, write that down I got it on Netflix Brad the English game Is that football or what? Or is it non sports? Sounds like uh, yeah, okay. the fall Luther line of duty. Line of Duty, that's one that I've... The Fall, Luther, and Line of Duty. All right, I got a bunch of stuff to watch now. Oh, nice. Yeah, Jasper, sorry, man. I can't, I gotta get a break. I've been up every night and I've gotta get up early tomorrow. So we're going to call tonight. It's supposed to be my night off, but I really needed to finish this. So I jumped on. We'll be back tomorrow with a bunch of Futera. Ronaldo. Ooh. Wow. 74 of 149. Who's that Portugal? Tom Fitzhugh. There you go, Tom. See if that'll hold up. 74. Well, last night it didn't, but tonight maybe it will. Uh, I guess I can. Yeah, I can post more, I just can't break more. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Tom, brother. That didn't last very long. 74 lasted about 15 seconds. And got beat by 75. Bye bye 74. Hello 75. Short lived lead. Denmark. I think, I swear Denmark was the last team to sell. Arthur Gulevich. Denmark. There you go, Arthur. You can't be beat. You can only be tied. Sorry, Portugal. Oh, nice one there. Ronaldo. Wow, nice one right behind it. Except this one definitely not gradable. The centering on it is horrible. And the centering on that thing is like way to the right. Those are going for like upwards of a hundred bucks, those cards. Aren't they? I was thinking 50, 60, but then I looked at it and they were selling for like a hundred bucks. Exponential power.
Gold foil. Okay. I saw. I could swear I saw something selling at like 120. Maybe it wasn't that. So that's what I thought. They were 60, 70, but then I thought I saw. Maybe I saw it wrong. Horan. Yeah, I guess it's the buy it now is maybe that's what confusing are there like buy it now's there that say like 130 but they probably accepted a smaller offer. What do you mean, Heath? Uh, well, I mean, it just came out. Futera doesn't really have a... I mean, last year they didn't even make it. So, it changes. I mean, I could swear usually they come out in later, I would think. Um, but, yeah, I don't think Futera has any real schedule that they stick to. I'm hoping they'll come out again next year to 75, 66 of 75. Yeah, I've got to finish those uh, breakaways that I have in the store right now. I've got two of them listed. So anyway, now that we've been doing a lot of Futera, we'll be doing Futera still. I mean, I'm probably going to be sold out of Futera within a week the way we're going because I only got... 15 cases so that's 45 mini cases uh 117 of 149 mahmoud dahoud uh, i am supposed to get some of those presentation boxes so i got about i think about 20 of those coming total for all the different variations hector herrera so we'll be doing those but that's going to be a hit draft format it's different 10 spot hit draft versus this uh, versus your regular Futera breaks. Yeah, I'm on kind of like a waiting list with Futera to see if anything opens up. They sometimes might, I might get lucky and get like another few mini cases out of them, but I doubt it at this point. Yeah, they usually what they do is they set aside a certain number of cases for their direct sales. So like you can just go on the website right now and buy a box. I think they're like 299 bucks for a box of Futera. So they set aside, you know, X number of cases for direct sales uh, versus, you know, selling to wholesale wholesalers or to businesses. Uh, But if like within a week or two, uh, they still have a bunch of their retail stuff available, which as far as I know, they haven't sold out yet on the retail end. So if there's more retail stuff available, then sometimes they'll transfer it and sell it to me. You know, they'll transfer from retail to wholesale. Yeah, I've been emailing her nonstop. If anything becomes available, I'll take it. So we'll see. But she said it doesn't look too promising. Yeah, I mean, I could buy it at retail, but then we'd have to bump prices and, you know, we're pretty much breaking it retail so it wouldn't make sense it's 
69 of 75, Marik Hamsik. Uh, Brad, uh, answer your question. The answer was yes. They are planning an immaculate, but um, who knows now, you know? I mean, everything's kind of up in the air right now. Because not, it's harder for them. I guess getting the autographs is harder. 117 and 149, Lukaku. I mean, I know Panini used to have people save and send people over there sometimes to, I mean, a couple times they put people like Corey on a plane and send them to like Brazil or to Europe and to get a bunch of signings done. Uh, Matthew Leckie, but now with everything going on, you can't really move around Europe very much. Um, That's why uh, Impeccable got pushed back because there was a lot of on-card element to it. I think they might be able to get away with doing uh, Chronicles just because it's all sticker. But even that right now, the factory is uh, not up and running. So Yeah, exactly. I guess the thing is the trust part, Brad. I mean, I guess it's some because I think they had some issues, not with soccer necessarily, but remember the whole like Dak Prescott thing and everything. So now they have different uh, 89 of 99. Honestly, I'm not sure exactly what their quality control is, but my understanding is they, they don't just send the stickers to the player and he signs it and sends it back and they trust that it's him that signed it because they got... Uh, they got screwed over a few times by doing it that way. Uh, 57 of 149. Yeah, so I think now they have some kind of, uh, usually it's, they have a Panini representative there when he's signing or her or whatever, you know, whoever it is signing. Um, but under the current circumstances, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, heck, they could do it via, I mean, you could do it on Skype, right? Just have the player there and go on Skype and watch them sign. I mean, it's kind of silly, but hey, you know, if you really want to do it. I guess you could do it via FaceTime or something, right? Have the player there. Hey, I'm signing. Look, you know, or have the player just re record himself signing it. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it. Yeah. Ideally, yes, Brad, but I don't know if they make exceptions in certain situations, but, you know, but with the U.S. sports, it's easy because they all have them all in one place anyway, so the guy's just standing there while they sign, but with soccer, it's a little bit more complex because it's like, you know, 100 players all over the globe, 51 of 75, Virgil van Dyke. whereas with the U.S. sports, usually, like, you got the rookie shootout photo shoot or the various events that they go to. Yeah, exactly, especially for the on-card stuff, too. Because the problem with the on-card stuff is, uh, you know, obviously the card has to be produced. It's a lot easier with the sticker. You just send them a bunch of stickers, and they sign it, and you can make the cards whenever. But with the on-card stuff, the, you know, card has to be produced. Most of the patch autos, the patch, they already put it into the card. 
before they get them signed. Sometimes they can send it out without the patch, but Number to beat is 75 for Denmark, 75. Thirty one of fifty on the Ronaldo. There, I gotta put that one over there. And that was the seven eleven, I think, yeah. So let's do this. Let's put those two over there. And we'll take these ones over. Brad, are you in Toronto City or are you out in the outskirts? My uncle lives in Toronto, like Don Mills area, and then my uh, cousins all live in Oakville. Right in the heart of Toronto, oh nice. So it's like downtown pretty much dead right now. Nothing, no. It's like a ghost town. You guys are lucky. I think you guys got it under uh, at least better control than most other places. Talking to my family up there. Thirty two of seventy five guardado. Jasper Sillison, Netherlands.
when I break tops, ML all right, we'll see. Does top top still has MLS, right? Are they still making MLS? Because I heard they were gonna last year they were talking about not renewing it, but honestly I don't really follow the whole tops MLS situation. That's one product I could probably get pretty cheap. If I go start buying old Topps MLS stuff, I could, cause right now it's very hard to find any product that is. Four of 99 Milligan. Oh, they did renew. All right, cool. Di Maria. You know, I got to say, I thought like Tops was after they lost the uh, English Premier League, I thought they were going to kind of throw in the towel on soccer. But I got to say, they uh, have actually turned it up a notch since they lost the Premier League. Just by, you know, signing guys like Jal Felix and Holland and, you know, seems like they're actually uh, taking it a little more seriously. And they don't want to lose the Champions League too, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the highest end they get is the whole uh, museum one. 65 of 100, fought in. I didn't order, I ordered only a little bit of museum and I tried to bump it and they said, no, they can't do it. So I don't know. Thing is, I've got burned so much with Topps products. I rarely get burned with Panini products, but, you know, uh, I've, you know, it's very rare you lose money on a Panini product. But with tops, it's like almost 50 50. Kind of it's like a crapshoot. Oh, so close. No, 26. I thought it was 76. Hugo Lloris. Never mind. False alarm. Andrea Bellotti, 9 of 25. Ooh, another one. There you go. Is your money back with those two cards pretty much? That one's better centered. The other one was way off, but that one's better on the centering. Talk me into breaking baseball. I don't what kind of baseball? I mean, if we could fill, I'd break anything, honestly, Nick. But, you know, I guess I could always give, like, one box a try. Although I got to say, baseball is kind of tough, man. You know, if you said basketball, I'd be a little more 
receptive, but baseball, really? I can't imagine our soccer guys being much into baseball. Tobin Heath. Although I guess we do have a big U.S. crowd, so... Gypsy Queen. Yeah, if you guys want to tell me like what products that are out there that are reasonable, I mean, I could try to look into it and see what's out there. Um, I mean, the one thing that's going to affect everybody, obviously, is if they stop putting out new products, uh, that's going to obviously shut everybody down to the extent you can't break if you can't get product. Uh, 67 of 100, Lorenzo Pellegrini. So then I'll have lots of time to work on the mother of all soccer breaks. Carvalho, 17 of 75. About a thousand a case US, yeah. How about transcended tennis? Did anybody see that break? Uh, did Leighton? Uh, I assume Leighton did it. I don't know if anybody saw it. Curious how that I should go watch the tape. No baseball, yeah. I don't think so, man. I think baseball. At least basketball, I could see some people getting into. But yeah, we can do like stuff like uh, 85 of 149. We can do like multi sport stuff or, yeah, like Gypsy. What was. It's the one Upper Deck puts out? Is that Fakir? That has like presidents and actors and kind of like pop culture stuff Luka Modric or start doing Star Wars I've been watching a lot of Star Wars that would be cool yeah I was talking to my distributor the only thing he had a ton of was uh, Topps Premier Platinum and I said no thank you I don't know if you guys remember that product that product was horrible oh my god Tops Premier Platinum. It had uh, Eric Cantona autos and then like nothing. So you either hit a Cantona if you were lucky in a case. Otherwise, it was like a bunch of crap. Goodwin Champions. Yep, that's the one. I can get Goodwin Champions. We do the little dog patches and stuff like that. That would be fun. We could start breaking like, uh, ooh, looky what I see there, guys. I see what looks like a one of one coming up. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. I'm pretty sure it's a one of one. It's purple. Come on, be something sick. Boom. Deutschland, Germany, one of one. Timo Werner. Very nice. Who's got Germany? Uh, Andreas Achsteiter, sehr gut, Deutschland.
Timo Werner. Uh, we'd probably have to do it by the box, honestly, Nick. Maybe box wars or pack wars or... Uh, Serial number, I don't know. Can't really do, uh, like, pick your team won't work. All right. Twelve of ninety nine, Chiellini. To twenty five, Leo Messi, twenty five of twenty five, Black Optic. Ooh, nice one there. Killian Mbappe, explosive PSG. No idea what those sell for, but. Yeah, I'm going to be announcing Jersey Palooza 10 uh, tomorrow. Amy Rodriguez. I'm just pricing it out. I was thinking of making it like even a little bit sicker and then possibly just adding like a dollar across the board to like all teams or something like that to be able to... because. Anyway, Yeah, I think it's going to be, uh, we're going to do like a 30 spotter this time. And I have some really sick stuff in it. I think we're going to do like multiple Ronaldos. You guys will see. I figure if we do, uh, Hopefully we can do it in two weeks. We do 30 spots. I mean, we can easily do it in two weeks. We can do it in less than two weeks. But basically, if we do two Jersey Palooza breaks a day, which shouldn't be a problem at all the way we've been filling it, um, we should be able to finish it in two weeks. And some days we'll do more, like on weekends and stuff. All right, where are my sleeves? So guys gotta grab some sleeves. Thick. Uh, I've got 45, so whenever we get to break 45, uh, Nick, is when I'm going to run out of Futura. Uh, 
are you looking forward to me running out of Futera or are you sad that I'm running out? <laughs> Nick's like, when are you going to be done with Futera? No, but I mean, I've got 15 cases, so that's 45 mini cases. So, yeah, and, and I, as far as I know, although I got to uh, give you a caveat, I will be getting some uh, presentation boxes, but those aren't really a break. Those are just like hit drafts. Well, the good news is I've uh, stocked up a lot of inventory over the last um, six months or so. So uh, primarily we have, I mean, yeah, honestly, at the rate we're breaking, I'll be out of inventory. I, I'll be okay for about a month because we've got, well, I mean, Donruss will be out of and probably less than a month, like two, three weeks. Uh, but the one product that I have quite a bit of is Select 16. So Select 16, I still got about 50 cases, I think, left. So that'll last a while. We've got Black Gold, a bunch of that left. Um, I can get Obsidian, even though Obsidian is kind of slowed down. That's the only product I can still get. Uh, I can get gold standard too, but it's ridiculously expensive. Um, I don't, at those prices, I don't really like it. Alec, the best way, two things, buddy, two things. One, uh, make sure you change it on the website. And two, send me one cent as goods on PayPal with your new address. That way... I won't because my shipper basically she's instructed to go to PayPal and choose the most recent goods payment for shipping. So uh, make sure your most recent because that's the first place she goes. If she goes to PayPal and you've paid like today with the wrong address, she's going to ship to the wrong address. Uh, so the most important thing is send one cent as goods with PayPal, but also she typically sometimes checks the website too so uh, make sure you change it on there I was thinking of starting like an address change post on Facebook also just so uh, I thought I did post something about address change on there but anyway well, you know so that way I can give you guys the instructions on all right awesome where are you moving to uh, Alec Coming closer to me or farther away? Are they, Nick? I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh, honestly, I think maybe it's just that I haven't pushed it that much. I mean, I, you know, since we've been doing so much other stuff. Uh, Yeah, what happened, Nick, is that Gold Standard got bought out by Panini. All right, not by Panini. Sorry, Panini got bought out by GTS. Gold Standard also anything. I I have no idea how many cases were left, but let's say just for shits and giggles, it was like 300 cases. So whatever, the last two 300 cases, uh, GTS bought it off. So now basically, GTS has a monopoly on that product. So what that means is that uh, if you want more, you got to go to GPS. And what they did was they bumped the prices up by about $200 a case. So now if I was to buy it at the current GTS prices and sell it at the same prices I was breaking before, I'd rarely break even. You know, so... Basically, I can get more gold standard. It's just going to be really expensive. And honestly, even at the old prices, it's not like we were filling like super fast. I mean, it was still taking like, you know, I mean, I just didn't think the value was there at that price, but I could be wrong.
Yeah, they do that, unfortunately, a lot. They do that with a lot of products. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like they did a monopoly, they bought all of the 2016 Select and they've been sitting on it for like three years and uh, they were like dying to get rid of this stuff. And they couldn't. So sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But I gotta say, soccer has really picked up. I mean, they basically said they're raising their prices on everything soccer across the board. 14 of 75, Sidibe. And they don't let me, like I used to be able to pick up the phone and hey, say, give me 25 cases of whatever. And now they're like, oh no, we'll just give you five. So as soon as I tell them I want 20, like, oh no, we'll give you five. And then you'll call the next day. Yeah, you can have another 50, 10, but now the price went up 50 bucks a case. You know, which is bullshit. I don't know. I don't know. Either. But it is what it is. But I mean, everybody does it, I guess. So blow out. All those guys do the same thing. They have like, they'll put like two cases up. And then if you buy those two cases, you'll notice another two cases pop up five minutes later, like for $50 more. And then if you buy those two cases, another two cases pop up for, you know, they keep bumping it up until it doesn't sell. Then they start bumping it down. Yeah, they did, Nick. I was kind of, well, I can still change it, but... I was a little bit uh, very conservative on Chronicles. Last month bought had it for 50 plus. What are we talking about? Sorry, I, I lost you there. You're talking about Chronicles pre-orders or what did Blowout have? I'm confused now. Uh, 31 of 99, Azard. Oh, 1819 Tops Chrome. Yeah, that was another one. They had it cheap and I, I think it's gone up. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could try to pick up some of that too. Yeah, it's all gone now, right? Let's see it. It's too late for Champions League Chrome or what? over here all right we got 98 of 100 uh, Josh Sargent So tops, chrome, soccer. All right, so the one with the blue box. Holy crap, yeah, it's $100 a box now, wow. Well, 
Wow, holy crap, the other one is $149 a box? What happened to Topps Champions League Chrome all of a sudden? Holy shizzle. Oh, that's just crazy. I can't believe those prices. That's nuts. Fifty-eight of one forty-nine, Ribeiro. I'll see what I can do. I actually did grab like I didn't grab a lot. I think I got like fifteen cases of it or something. Uh, I'll have to double check that, but. Yeah, no, sorry, Abdul, not tonight. Every, nothing's going tonight. Tonight's supposed to be my night off here. I just have to finish this one break. Emily Sonnet. Eighteen of seventy five, David Silva. Erickson, 27 of 50. Jack Butland, beautiful game.
Yes, Rand Jersey Random will be right after this, Johan. Jersey Random will be after this. And tomorrow I will be announcing Jersey Palooza 10, which will be our biggest and best one yet. Dele Ali. It's going to be 30 jerseys and uh, lots of sick stuff in there. Twelve of one forty nine, Yeri Mina. Quincy Promise. Oops, sorry, wrong stack. That stack there. Emily Sonnet. That is nuts. Even finest is a hundred dollars now. Yeah, crazy. Eighty four of one hundred, Mendy. Yeah, I noticed even Bundesliga soccer now is a hundred bucks a box. I'm like, really?
Yeah, he's not. You got to just wait for him to, to be over here. He's in Germany. I can uh, try to see, Mike. Yeah, I can see if I have his WhatsApp and try to WhatsApp him, I guess. Yeah, but he's Ashtider is not on, on Facebook. He does pop in here from time to time, but I'll uh, try to see if I can get a hold of him. Okay, I can ask him. Yeah, I just can't give out email. I got in trouble once because I was giving people's emails and I can't give it out without them okaying it first. So, anyway, I uh, just have to ask them if it's okay. Four of ninety nine, Raul Jimenez. Guillermo Ochoa. Alaba, 28 of Uh, Terstegen, 23 of 149. Number to beat is 75.
69 of 75, Jesus Corona. Angel Di Maria, 59 of 99. This is not Yeah, this stuff now is 140 a box. It's crazy. Yeah, Brad, I think it's pretty much out of stock. I could ask. Uh, I could ask. still aficionado still available black gold still available standard cases still yeah they do It's pretty bad. Yeah, everything soccer has been jacked up. I don't know what happened in the last couple of weeks, but all of a sudden, 27 of 100, Christensen. All of a sudden, everything soccer has been jacked. Yeah, like 17, 18 select is up to 115 a box now. Uh, to 10, Hugo Loris.
Yeah, now, honestly, National Treasures. I, I always had a really hard time filling Nash because National Treasures just doesn't sell that well on the resale market. I don't unless something changed all of a sudden. Uh, I think doesn't that isn't that also because the Mbappe's maybe because it has Mbappe base cards in it and the Mbappe base cards going for crazy money. Uh, Antonio Candreva to ten. Yeah, that's why I guess. Huh? With select, yeah, I sold all my. I, we did three hundred and fifty cases of that product. I mean, I was buying that product like crazy. Uh, we were doing like ten, fifteen cases a week back uh, a couple years ago. Thirty of one forty nine. Tell us. Alderweld, oh, that's just a base prism. Nice, Sergio Busquets, four of five. Spectra's up. Holy crap. Immaculate is crazy. Wow, they're up to 175 a box. This stuff on blowout is now 175 a box. It's crazy. Hmm, I wonder I can't get it from GTS. Seven of seventy five, a Pulisic. Got a one of one coming up, guys. We got a one of one coming up. 84 of 99. We got one of those uh, gold vinyl one of ones, optic one of ones coming.
Whoa! Sorry, guys. Yeah, everything soccer has just gone nuts. I don't know what's going on, but it's very hard to get product lately. See right there, you see the gold vinyl. Those days of ordering like 20, 30 cases, 40 cases on reorder are long gone. All right, here we go. Wow, Gabriel Jesus, Man City. One of one, Gabriel Jesus. Who's got him? Kelly, wow. PC love for Kelly, that's awesome. Congrats, Kelly and Zach. Zach's gonna be excited about that one. All right. Yeah, the only way, like I was thinking, Brad, to do it for this year is since everybody's going to want Dortmund, is like we'd sell all the other teams. Uh, but let's say Dortmund, I mean, let's say Dortmund's going to cost 200 bucks or whatever. So basically, uh, every other team would be raised by $10, and then we'll do a random at the start, and someone will win Dortmund. So you can't sell Dortmund. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with the rest of the teams. So it's a hard one to do, pick your team. Or we just have to do random teams. That's obviously, you know, everybody gets a random team. There you go. Congrats to Kelly and Zach. Gabriel Jesus, boom. Germany, all right, yeah, I have to. Oh boy, this one's uh, really messed up. Look at that card. It's like someone took a <laughs> someone took a razor blade to that card. Definitely something happened in the printing of that card. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. I was, and it all happened in like a month. You know, like literally a month ago, they were forcing me to buy 10 cases of Donruss to get one case of Eminence. And Donruss was like $400 a case or cheaper than what they're selling it for now. And you would get Eminence. I mean, the whole point was they were trying to dump it. And we were, I mean, I remember with Austin, we're like, no, no, get anything but Donruss. Give us Select, give us Black Gold, just not Donruss. And because uh, we couldn't sell it. Anyways, we were barely breaking... So Donruss at like under a thousand dollars a case we were filling it at like right around I mean if we got a thousand bucks a case that was like at least we'd break even on it you know and those days are long gone and this wasn't that long ago it was literally a month ago So I don't know, collectively everybody decided to to yank up soccer.
The only thing I don't know if they'll do that or not, Michael, is the fact that it depends on the product. I, it, it's just, there's just not that much of it, you know? Like some of this stuff, they just didn't make that much of. Sixty of one forty nine, Bobby Wood. This is way too full now. Uh, 47 of 50, Giovanni Lo Celso. Gonzalo Martinez. It's a 75, beautiful game. Seventy-five. Yeah, absolutely. And the resale price on the on dealer net. That's where. Forty-seven of fifty. All right, last two boxes.
I don't know, Michael. I don't know, honestly. And I don't know about endless supply, but I think GPS has it all, so I don't know how much of it. I know they're limiting us to one a week. And I didn't I didn't even buy the one because it was like four hundred dollars higher than what I was paying you for. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean I'll find out. But hell, looking at it now, if they're selling for you know one sixty, one seventy a box, then not such a bad deal. They're literally going for like ninety nine bucks a box just like a month ago. We'll see. I could see there being a lot of Donruss though, because they probably made a lot of Donruss, but lately they've been uh, moving a lot of Donruss. Twenty-eight of one hundred. Mbappe. Wow. Goal. Well, what a break for Kelly. Eight of ten. KDB to go with your one of one Gabriel Jesus. Insanity, I say. All right, I gotta go get some more mags. Eight of ten KDB. Eight of ten sickness. Crazy stuff. No, I, I agree what you're saying, Michael, but generally some products like Select, they, they usually made a lot more, but I don't know. We'll see because Donruss never sold a lot. Uh, 
So honestly, I don't know. I would think to 149, 129. I would think they made a lot more select than Donruss, but the thing is they never announced their, you know, that's one of the things. And that's one thing that I like about Futera is at least they're very transparent with what they do and how many cases they make and they announce the print runs and stuff like that. With Panini and even Tops, you have no idea. I mean, you know, they can make a thousand cases, they can make five thousand cases. We we don't know. No. Sixty-four of seventy-five. So certainly it could be, I mean what you're saying could be true. You think so? 3,000 plus cases. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they made 3,000 cases, then there's still probably at least another 1,000 cases sitting out there. Okay, well, this is weird because we had Ramos in there, and that usually means the case hit box. So I don't know if this was the A hit, maybe, and then that's going to be the B hit because I thought this was going to be the B hit, but I could be wrong. That was 126. But considering the fact that they were making me buy 10 cases of Donruss at a time, uh, I think, Michael, you probably, there's, you're probably right. There's got to be more. Because if they didn't have that much of it, they wouldn't be forcing us to buy 10 cases at a time to get eminence. So. Sixty-two of seventy-five Diop. Fifty-eight of ninety-nine, Sergeant. Think they made a boatload of this stuff? I know GTS had a boatload of 16 select. I, I think they still do, actually. Three of seventy five Chicharito Hey Kevin, what's up? Uh, this is all I've broken. This is my only case for tonight, Kevin. I can't stay on very late tonight. 71 of 100, Hamsik. So this is going to be my one and done.
but we did have a sick case. We've got a one of one Werner, a one of one Jesus. Man City killing it. 96 of 149. Mendy. To 42 of 75 to be Alderweireld, and it looks like Denmark is gonna win the Jersey Palooza unless we get a card number to 75 in this box. Yeah, Denmark again was the last team. Arthur Gulevich. Oh, wow, nice one there. Talk about Man City killing it. Man City's really killing it. Phil Fodden, black optic rated rookie. <clears throat> Man City's got a, at least 10 times their money there in this case, I would think, with all that one of one and this and that. Insane case for Man City. Congrats, Kelly. Correct. We're gonna. I'm gonna do the random after this one. I'm gonna do the video, uh, show the jerseys, and then this is a smaller one, uh, 18 spotter. Tomorrow's is gonna be a 30 spotter. So the Jersey Palooza 10 is gonna be the biggest yet. Eighty of ninety nine, Davinson Sanchez. Josh Sargent. One thirty nine of one forty nine. Lasana Diara. Yeah, I think I got him mixed up. That was the A auto. This is going to be the B auto, I think. Pretty sure. So this one will be our.
There it is. That's the B auto right there. Thomas Müller, Germany. Nothing like yesterday, the crazy one of one Ronaldo and Dybala. Although I gotta say, these cases have been producing a lot of one of ones. Been hitting like before we'd go like five, six cases, ten cases without a one of one. Now we've been hitting like two and a case. Tell us. Congrats, last spot in the Jersey Palooza. Went to Denmark. 75 of 75. Victor Fisher. And Denmark. Arthur Gulevich. Denmark. All right, Donruss 82, Arthur Gulevich. All right, ready? Recap time. To 99. Davinson Sanchez, Josh Sargent, Raul Jimenez, Di Maria, Mueller, Azard, Chiellini, Milligan, Rakitic, Ramos, and Alderweireld. Uh, yeah, I can do that, Jasper. Uh, Mbappe, Mbappe, PSG. That was Mbappe, France. Uh, exponential, Robert, exponential power for Mino. Out of this world for France, Mbappe. Then we got a regular silver press proof for Sancho. Two of the hollows for Sancho. Then another silver for France, for Mbappe. To 50, Lo Celso, Rakitic, Eriksen, and Ronaldo. To 25, Messi, Belotti, and Dyer. Autographs, beautiful game. Diara, Ramos, Butland, Suarez, and Lecky. To 75, beautiful game. Carvalho, Gonzalo Martinez, and Florian Thalvan. Optic Autos, Italy, Verratti, and then we got Dolberg, Sillison, Rookie, Sargent, and Ochoa. Blue Optic, number 299, Alaba, and to 75, Eric Dyer. For the ladies, not a very good lady case this time after the last few were really good, but not so much this one. Uh, Lindsay Horan, Crystal Dunn, Tobin Heath, Samantha Mewis, Amy Rodriguez, Emily Sonnet, and Emily Sonnet. Going up to the wall to 10, we had Brad Loris. Also to 10, Optic, Antonio Candreva. Also to 10, Akel Di Maria. A couple numbered to 5, uh, Lorenzo Insigne and Sergio Busquets. We had a Black Optic Rookie 5 of 25 for Faden. Auto Hector Herrera Gold to 10. Thomas Müller Autograph Germany Beautiful Game. To 10 Matisse Delete 7 of 10. I would have magged that but not a good idea for grading purposes on that one. And then, all right, let's do this one first. We got the uh, Timo Werner press proof one of one for Germany. Germany and Man City killed it. 
And then Man City. Sickness. How about first Kevin De Bruyne? Eight of ten right there. Congrats, Kelly. Then right behind that, Gabriel Jesus. One of one. Nastiness. Kelly killed it. Last but not least, 75 of 75, Denmark gets the Jersey Palooza spot. Victor Fisher going to Arthur Gulevich. All right, guys, that was it. Uh, for you Jersey Palooza fans, tomorrow is going to be our biggest and best Jersey Palooza ever. Lots of crazy jerseys. And uh, that will be posted tomorrow. And uh, we'll start that uh, hopefully probably tomorrow as well. All right, let me end the recording here. Uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. start deleting this, otherwise we're going to end up with Alright, there we go. Alright, that one is 82. Right, next. Alright, let me uh, update Jersey Palooza here. And then we'll get started on it. Don't go anywhere. We're going to do the Jersey Palooza draft now. why it will not allow me to Oh, are they, Han Yuan? Yeah, so they probably are sold out then. So I'm probably not going to get any more if they're sold out on the website.
All right. Alright. Hey Brad, I'm not sure if you're still watching. I shot you over a uh, WhatsApp message.
así. See that? I don't know. Mm, I know what to do. There we go. That's better. I was wondering what the heck to do. That way people can actually see it. All right. That's better. Alrighty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing the Jersey Palooza number nine promo, 18 spots. It's finally over with. Uh, I gave away 18 free jerseys. I'm going to show you guys uh, the jerseys that we gave away. And then we're going to do a random, and then you guys are going to pick your jerseys. Uh, so, anyway, all these jerseys were won in various breaks. Uh, we did 18 different breaks. Each break had one winner. So now that all 18 breaks are done, we're going to do the draft. Uh, I am Soccer Breakers FC. If you're interested in joining my breaks or joining any of these promo uh, breaks, uh, all you got to do is join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Simply search Soccer Breakers FC. Check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. If you like Jersey Palooza 9, you'll like Jersey Palooza 10 better. That starts tomorrow. I will be posting uh, 30 jerseys for Jersey Palooza 10, and we'll be doing 30 case uh, breaks uh, that will comprise Jersey Palooza 10. So anyway, uh, if watching on YouTube, guys, make sure you do two things for me. One, click on the little subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And two, make sure you give us a little thumbs up on the video. Always greatly appreciated. All right, let's go through these uh, jerseys and uh, show you guys what we got. Should be 18 of them. Uh, Robbie Fowler. Um, this is an Icons uh, jersey, Robbie Fowler. Uh, Liverpool signed shirt, Robbie Fowler. So all these icons ones actually guys are quite nice. The jerseys are uh, much higher quality than the ones you see on eBay. Uh, they always use really nice jerseys. This one right here, Luis Suarez, back signed uh, Barcelona jersey, 15-16. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, English uh, England jerseys. Gary Cahill, number five, England. Then we've got a Jack Wilshire signed jersey down here at the bottom, as you can see. Jack Wilshire, also a signed England jersey. Pretty much the same jerseys there, just different numbers on the back. Uh, then we have a Jeff Hurst England jersey. Sir Jeff Hurst, this is old school England, as you see. Doesn't have the star on it yet, because this is a 1966 home shirt. So there was no star yet, because they hadn't won yet. There it is. Also for Jeff Hurst, the uh, silver autograph, West Ham, 1964 West Ham shirt. Also an Icons long sleeve shirt there, quite nice. All right, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six so far. So 12 more to go. All right, then we've got uh, Steve Gerrard, 2005 UEFA Champions League Final Edition. You can see it's got the Turkey Istanbul right there, European Champions Istanbul. Got the Liverpool logo right there. The Carl's bag, as you see, it's kind of like raised. Nice there, like that. And there is Stevie G. And then for you uh, Ranger fans out there, Steve Gerrard, Rangers jersey. Very nice again. This is uh, Icon, so 2017-18 home shirt. Steve Gerrard. There 
there we go. How about Rivaldo? Rivaldo, these jerseys are really nice. They're kind of like a flashy, shiny Barca jersey. Uh, anyway, Rivaldo retro Barcelona home shirt with fan style numbers. You can kind of see it's very shiny. So a nice looking jersey there. There's Rivaldo. Cool jersey. All right, here's a nice one. It's uh, dual signed. Dennis Law and Wayne Rooney. Old school Manchester United football club. Dennis Law, Wayne Rooney, front signed retro Manchester United home shirt. You can see what the shirt looks like right there. All right. Then we got a Ballon d'Or winner 2018. You guessed it. Luka Modric. Fly Emirates. This is a child size jersey. So normally you see they're really big. That one's tiny because it's a child extra small. That's ideal for framing. Uh, you can see the jersey, what it looks like right there. Uh, the front looks, uh, it's nice and embroidered. So it is a nice jersey. It's just the child size. Uh, it's a child size extra small. Ballon d'Or winner. Those again, nice if you want to frame it especially. Ooh, all right, we got some nice ones coming up. How about Zhao Felix? That is back signed Benfica 2018-19 home shirt. He wore 79 for Benfica. We got it right there. Nice little signature right on the number. There you go. Alexander Arnold, back signed Liverpool, 2019-20 Liverpool home shirt. There you have it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. So we should have five more. Yep, we do. All right, also, so we had that Trent Alexander-Arnold back signed jersey. Now here's a nice Liverpool standard chartered front signed jersey for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Just signed it not too long ago. So... You got your choice of those two front sign back sign speaking of choices how about a back sign atletico joao felix these are really nice jerseys by the way guys if you take them out they look really cool you can see it's got the little patches on it it is very sexy jerseys uh let's see it's got the back it's a uh, pretty sweet Atletico jersey. You can see what the jersey looks like exactly there. That's exactly what it's going to look like if you take it out. Joao Felix. So you have your choice. You can go with, uh, for you Benfica fans, with his Benfica signed jersey, or you can go with his Atletico signed jersey. Leo Messi, Argentina. This is signed Argentina shirt. Uh, this is not the original Argentina jersey. It's more like an Argentina. It is from Icons, but uh, it's a cheaper one. The nicer ones go for like five, six hundred bucks. This one goes for about three fifty, three eighty, something like that on Icons, because it is like a T-shirt jersey. From the back, if you're going to frame it, it looks the same, but uh, it on the front, it doesn't have that nice Argentina. It just says ARG. And uh, anyway, I put a link to it so you guys can go by the link and see what it looks like front, back. But still, it's a sick messy, and it is Icons. Actually, you know what? I strike that. It did come from Icons. It is from Icons, 
But on Jer for some reason on Messi, he does his own authentication. So, because most of them that you see, they're always going to have the, the thing on it and then the matching serial number on this. But I've noticed the ones with Messi don't because Messi does his own authentication. So, anyway, there he is. And then we've got uh, two more, Cristiano Ronaldo. There it is, and that is going to be Beckett authenticated, the CERP certificate. You put that number, and that matches the certificate up top. You enter that, uh, it will come up on the Beckett database. And last but not least, one last one, we've got Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. And these are really nice. Um, Arsenal signed home shirts. Yeah, I took one of these out today and took a couple pictures so I can give you a picture. Uh, let's see. Where did the photos go? Man, I got so much photos on here. See, that's the front of it. So you see it's got the little Puma things on the back and on the side. So there you have it. All right, guys. So that means now all that's left to do is the random. All right. All that's left to do is the random to determine the draft order. All right. So here we go. Uh, we are going to... Put the randomizer on the screen. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. We're going to roll the dice. We reroll snake eyes. Otherwise, we go with it. Seven times. Seven times on the dice. This will determine the draft order. We're going to go seven times. This time I, I have the also the where you want it and uh, the only one that was transferred was this one here. Brad got it from Jason Holmes, but all the rest anyway. If for some reason one of you sold the spot, you know which spot is which. I left this the select number or Donruss number, however you want it on there. So again, guys, we're gonna go seven times. Good luck. One, two. We're gonna go seven, three. Four, five, six, seventh and final. Good luck. Seven. Wow, Victor Z on top, Victor Z on the bottom. There is your draft order. Victor Z, one. Christian Rasuk, two. Wow, Tom Fitzhugh, three. Wheels, four. Nice, Wheels. Zabi 5, Yuhang 6, Anthony 7, Mon 8, Kevin 9, Mariella 10, Victor also got 11, Jameson 12, Michael 13, Brad you got 14, Jeff 15, Jamie 16, Arthur the one you just won 17, and Victor you also got the last spot. So there are your is your draft order. Let me take a picture of it. So Victor Z has the first pick. Let me post this up on Facebook right now. Hmm, what's going on? Why is it not coming up? There it is.
All right, here we go. Let me get rid of this. All right, guys, we're going to get rid of... Uh, anyway, we're going to end the recording here. Let me end the recording. And let's post that up right now. Oh, you're welcome, Christian. Congrats. Oh, sorry. I take this down now. Anyway, I ended the recording, the tape. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I've got to get off. Uh, so congrats to all the Jersey Palooza winners. I just posted the, um, the uh, draft order. So... All right, I got to I don't know for some reason it's not like tagging people on my other one. All right, congrats, Christian. That was awesome. Yep. All right, good night, guys. Yeah, there's the order again. So, Christian, you got the second pick. Congrats. Tom's third. Wheels is fourth. So, anyway, guys, have a great night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. I'm out. Uh, check. All right, I'll do that. Oh, I'm going to post uh, two, more, uh, two more things right now. Uh, I'm going to post two more. So uh, two more Futeras. All right, thanks, guys. I'm out.